What's going on guys, Pack Daddy here, bringing you the next episode of the Puck Drop, and this is the largest amount of pucks I've ever had in my hand to drop on the board. Our opponent quit playing during the second period. I don't know, was it a long overdue bathroom break, somebody said in the chat, but regardless, we have 50 points in the bank right now. There's premium player packs out on the market right now, so we're gonna drop the eight pucks that we have. We have 50 points in the bank and we're getting stuck. You know what? We'll probably knock it down with one of these other ones. Let's just see. Nope. It completely bypassed it. It's going into 300. All right. Well, let's smack him a couple times. There it goes. There goes the card. And just like that, dude, that one was meant for the jackpot. So we are two pucks in and we've already got 800 points to add to the point bank and the pack bank, whatever it's going to be. So we have six more pucks to drop. We're already at 800 points. We're going to drop the magic puck that got us the bonus already. So that's 800 plus it's going to be another 300. So we're at 1150 points. 1150 plus zero. That sucks. Going with the next puck. This is puck number five. All right. That's going to be 1150 plus 100. So we're at 1250 right now. we got three more pucks left to drop. 1250 plus another 100. So we're at 1350. We've got the 100s covered, and we've got one of the zeros covered, so it's only fitting it goes into that one. So we are at 1550 at this point. One more puck. Let's go one more jackpot to put us at 2050. Can it happen? It cannot. So unfortunately, I lost count of what we're actually at right now. So I think we're at 1850 points right now, but that's a lot. That's more than enough to open the three premium packs that are out in the market right now, which is sick. Just so many points that we just added because of one game of just blowing up like a 93 Braden Holpe. I can't wait to see what's in the packs and hut rival packs that we got. Boys, let's hit it. Choice pack, it didn't really work out for us. And I mean, I would like to save up for a really good special pack. Maybe like a jumbo player premium pack or something. Or if an ultimate pack comes out, it could be super fun to do this. So Seth's reminding us we have 1850. But I mean, I say we just do three of these player packs and then just rock it and retain that 950 points for the next episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to start things off with the player pack. We're just going to do three of these. And then we got Hut Rivals rewards after that. Let's go, boys. All right. Player pack number one, 300 points, and we're ready to rock this thing. There's a 98 Stamkos out right now. Boys, let's get lucky. We're seeing a Vander Kane for the first one. Mike can, oh yeah, there's freaking silver players in these. Oh, that's not decent. Oh, come on, too many silver. We've gotten like one gold player and a 77 Mike Smith. Man, do I even want to keep doing these? Mika Zibanejad? That, I don't know. That's having me rethinking everything right now. Pack luck for sure. All right, that was so bad. Do we just want to do a choice pack? One more of these player packs, and then we'll see what happens. If, if this is bad, if this is bad, then maybe we'll like look to see the other one because that first one sucked so much. Player pack, you know what we're going to do? We're going to skip the animation. We have a ton of packs to go ahead and rip this time. And we're going to reveal all, and I'm seeing nothing. I'm seeing, oh, yeah, that's the last one we're doing. That is some hot garbage right there. That is gross, guys. I, I don't want to do a choice pack and put us down to 250 just in case we have like a bad game or something like that. So if they're both bad, do an ultra pack. And you know what? That's kind of what I was already thinking. So the chat agrees with me. These two are terrible. I don't want to do another one of those. Ultra packs have failed us every time until now. They're the sleepers right now. So we're going to just spend a cool, clean, even 1,000 points before this next game. And we're going to open up an ultra pack. We're skipping the animation. I'm seeing a little, little high card right there. Could be anybody. Oh, that's, that's a freaking Ryan Ellis. That's what that is. Oh my gosh, the Ultra Pack. The Ultra Pack is bad, dude. Before we get into the Hut Rivals rewards, we have been grinding out challenges like crazy. And when you do those challenges, you come across a couple mini packs here and there. So we're just going to see if we can't just get a little bit lucky with some mini packs because we have done 22 of the challenges. We only have nine more left to do. It's something fun I can do. I can like eat a meal with their like watch TV, literally like take 10 shots or 12 shots and then just like walk away from my you know, console for the next like five minutes after that. All right, let's go with another mini pack. And I don't know if they're going to get anything better than a mini pack as far as like pack rewards go. That's your Demco 59. Overall defenseman, holy cow. And these are also tradable, so I mean, we can sell these guys on the auction house later, which is gonna be nice. I think that's it for mini packs. That is gonna be it for the mini packs. <laughs> that is awful. But online rivals rewards, and I think we finished gold with this one. That's gonna be nice. We're always gonna be going untradable. We're gonna get double the chances for a good, good player. And I mean, double the packs is how you do it. All right, I gotta go all the way to the back to find the ones that we just got. We're gonna obviously do the prime packs first because those are not fun to open. 
and they're kind of depressing. So we're gonna go with these first ones. Uh, let's just skip the animation. There's probably nothing in here. 76 is the highest. 78, David Riddich is the highest we're gonna see. All right, pride pack number one is in the gutter. So let's just move on to the next one. I think we actually did advance to skill division six, so the reward should be a tad better the next time we do Hut Rivals on a weekend, which is gonna be tomorrow. We're actually gonna be doing this tomorrow. So 78, Sean Corrali. I mean, when I say tomorrow, Fridays is when we're gonna be doing these from now on. All right, NHL player pack, here we go. These are where I'm expecting the good people. And I mean, you play a couple games, you get a free couple player packs. Anze Kopitar, halfway decent, Jack Hughes, James Van Riemsdyk, come on boys. Colton Pareko, Connor Brown, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Oscar Lindblom. Ooh, okay, we, there's a Lars Eller, 85 overall, though we, I don't think we can put him on our team. Alaskan Husky, thank you for the follow, bud. I mean, but I mean, Lars Eller, that's the, that's the best pull we've gotten so far, and we're getting a Matt Murray. So I mean, that Lars Eller is a nice pull. We're not getting him on the team. So, I mean, I think we're just going to have to send him to the collection. He might go and do a reroll here in a bit. The last NHL player pack. In the last pack, besides the rerolls that we're going to get going on before we play this next game, Charlie Coyle is coming in with it. Jared Spurgeon, Zidane Chara, Big Z. All right, it's a pretty uh, pretty lame pack at this point. Adam Pellet, Frank Petrano, Ivan Provorov. Come on, Tyler Ennis and the last player, Vlasic. Wow, that one was such a letdown. That was a terrible letdown. All right, so we got two re-rolls ready to go. And this is the time it happens. People in chat are saying we're gonna get the Carlson or the Stamkos. We have yet to get any good pulls coming out of these things. And like no re-roll, the entire series so far has like really helped out the team. Until now, they're just waiting like the last day to pull the 98 Stamkos. We're getting a Kyle Wood. All right, we're just pulling nothing but straight wood in the first pack, which absolutely sucks. And in the second one, the second one, the premium two gold player pack. Come on, boys. Show me the stamp coast. Let's go. Dylan Strom, I think, is going to be our good card. Oh, my goodness. It's never going to happen. We're never going to get a good one. Can't wait to go spammies them FIFA streams, dude. That is absolutely it. He's got Gretzky, 99, boys. We might be in over our heads. Let's hope not, though. I mean, big wins there. Big wins from Nate Thompson starting us off. In the front, Glenn Denning, oh, it just gets the last second. Uh-oh, he's a little bit behind. Holy crap, how did Tarasenko get so far? He missed the net. He fluffed on that one. What is going on, man? What is going on? My players are like so slow right now. Like, guys, be a little bit more active. They got sand in their skates. All right, big block in front. Oh my gosh, dude, Tarasenko was just, he was just there. Like, he just picked up the rebound like it was like a pass to him. That was ridiculous. Oh my goodness, guys. What an awful start to the game. He's got 95 Tarasenko with the 99 Gretz. We might be in for a long one here, boys. All right, we're sending out line two. That is not the start we wanted. Let's go Tarasenko to St. Louis Blues. No, that's not what we're looking for, bud. All right, let's pick this a little bit more. Come on. Settle down a little bit. Just play a little bit slower. Over to the point shot. Zidane Chara, big shot. Darcy Kemper's in net form. I've seen that Darcy Kempo be a beast for players. All right, nice pressure though. Chara, be big. I need you to stay on him, Chara. I need you to stay on that dude. Holy crap, how did that not go in? His Kovalchuk though. Oh, the speed. I didn't think he was actually going to rush that one. Nobody ever tried to shoot those gaps but me. Let's go, step on. Fly out here, dude. Two on one. Let's go, big time. Rip it, man. He was there covering that once he will. Shut, oh my gosh, dude. Steve Shut all alone in front of the net. You know that's going in and we tied this game up. Steve Shut. you guys told me when I pulled him just to sell him. He's probably been the MVP of the team, like no doubt. No doubt, no doubt. Here we go, boys. Huge goal for us right there. I think he's just letting the period go at this point. All right, end of the first period. It is one to one, a very hot start for him. But anyway, we found our way back into it with Steve Shut just banging one in from the uh, from and close. I mean, five to four of your shots right now. Time on attack, similar game. So we got a close game on our hands right now. We just got to stay. Honestly, I think if we get a little bit more aggressive, it'll be decent. Don't let Gretzky shoot in front. Come on. I mean, that 99 Gretz going to hit that all day. All day he's going to hit that. Gosh, he just rips it past my goalie. That's unfortunate. It's like the start of the period is when he gets his goals. And then it's all... Our momentum after that one, so that's what we gotta do. We gotta be big, we gotta play smart, we gotta not challenge him too much, and just cut down his options. 
or a push, or at least we're winning all the face-offs, so I mean, that's gonna help our chances out. Oh my gosh, dude, what a beautiful play, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Did you see that one T feed from behind the net? That was a thing of beauty. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe we hit that. That was nasty. That got me going, boys. That got me going right there. There's a little play action behind the net. Throws it out for the quick hit in front. That was sick, boys. Oh, look at him. He's dancing through everybody. No, if I could have got that pass off, he would have been in on a breakaway. Big check. Hero Elo, let's go, dude, turn it on. Look at the speed, no way, Giroux! You gotta stay on side, dude, he was burning. Nice block, nice block, let's go. Two on one, boys, let's go. McDavid, be there for those. Oh no, Tarasenko's gonna get it back. 95 Tarasenko, I mean, he tried to shoot it from the middle, guys, it wasn't gonna happen. All right, end of the second period, a absolutely huge performance. Let's see if they're gonna replay our goal. Let's see if they'll show our goal, because it was nasty. No, of course they're not gonna show our goal. They're gonna show the basic goal by Gretzky in front, not our just absolute mint-like skill goal that happened. He's pretty decent. This uh, this Gretzky, who's been uh, had a couple points, I mean, he's uh, he's halfway decent. You know, 99 Gretz, not bad. This Tarasenko has got the 95, but I haven't seen anybody pass this. He's got the 94 Anderchuk, 91 Kovalchuk, 90 Ryan Suter, 91, never heard of this guy. 88 Zuccarello, let's check out his goal. Let's see this Darcy Kemper, how he's been playing. 88 Darcy Kemper, so. You know, it's not the worst team I've ever seen. It's not the best. What's going on, Bruins? Come on, be big on that one. No, do not let Ajo get away from that. Huge stick from behind. That is massive right there. A big 2-0. All right, we're getting into. Oh, no, we tried to feed that. Gosh, I shouldn't have done that. All right, but that was a huge back check by our guy. Nice, 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 no way! Oh my gosh, Pominville takes the loose puck and puts it past his goalie. That was complete luck, like like luck right there. Holy crap, dude. We got past him and like Orloff got past him, Pominville just tucked in the loose puck. We're going up three to two. That was, that was, uh, oh my gosh, that was so lucky. So lucky there. Come on, come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. Right there, oh my gosh, just waited a little bit too long. Loose puck everywhere and he's gonna keep it in play. I was just throwing it in front, didn't really know what was going to happen there. Stick lift, come on boys, get back. Big rush coming our way. Alright, dumps it in. Let me take it behind the net. Recoup, get around Kovalchuk. Throws it back in, Eero Elo, take it in dude. Far side, BAM! Oh my gosh, huge shot from Eero Elo, that's the fourth goal. We're getting the insurance goal, we just decided to rip it there. He was going to, he's covering that cross the entire time, so we just ripped it on then. Eero Elo, I think he's got a goal in like every game since we picked him up. I mean, just an absolute snipe right there. Bam! Just shoots it in there. Let's go, Thompson. Throw it in there. Oh, okay, he had that cross covered. Oh, there's a tripping penalty. Freaking A. All right, 10 minutes left in, in the third period. We're making uh, we're making stupid plays right now. Come on, take it. Take it, Stefan. Somebody has to come away with this puck. I mean, this is the PK. Like, we had a great PK last time, so I mean, we're just going to keep it up. Tries to keep it in his own. Oh, crap, here's a two-on-one. That's not decent. Oh, my gosh. All right. I honestly didn't think he was going to hit that with that angle. That's an awful angle to shoot from, but I mean, I mean, he got it in there. He knew what was going on. Kulbakov cool is just not quick enough to do that. There's that 95 Tarasenko and the Gretzky have three points in this game. All right, but that was kind of our fault. Our fault a little bit. All right, let's go, though. We still got the goal advantage, so I mean, we just got to keep this one uh, strong. Attack with speed. Oh, here we go. Dude, you don't let me walk through like that. You don't let me walk through like that. That's too easy. I mean, Negrin's gonna walk that all day. That was Negrin, right? That was Magnus Negrin. Of course it was, boys. That was just too easy right there, getting it back. Got the two-goal lead back. I mean, that's gonna be huge. That's five drops on the puck board right now. We are in uh, Division Four, so we can do whatever we want. Almost a 1T to try and put our uh, goal limit at six right now. There it is, Orloff. All right, that was kind of a bad shot by him. He almost gives it right back to him. Come on. Mantha takes too long with the 1T. Oh my gosh, he throws it right past Glenn Denning. He can't do anything with it though. Negrin, what are we doing? What are we doing? Back door, come on, be there for that one T. You backed up way too far. I mean, we're killing so much time right now in this third period that I mean, this is this is fantastic. I don't care that I'm not scoring because this is exactly what we want. Oh. Steve Shot gives it right back to Kovalchuk. Oh wow, big saves by Cool Bakoff. We're gonna freeze that one. Here you go. He wants to fight. All right, let's go, bud. Why wouldn't he let me fight him? I wanted to fight him right there. 
Big win. Big win. Get out of here. No, Nate Thompson. You're behind the net. He's going to net that one. Oh, my gosh, dude. Bad penalties. I had the wrong guy controlled, too. That's not going to make us feel good. All right. It's a one-goal game. Like, we keep doing this to ourselves. I don't understand it. All right. Here we go, boys. One minute left to go. Don't blow this one. We need this win to help us out. Advance to Division Three. Need it. Gretzky's going to attack us. Here we go. Throw it up to Manta. Manta walking in there. Come on, bud. Be big. He's going to lose the puck in the corner. We're going to still maintain... Nope. Almost said maintain puck position. Glenn Denning, we're just going to leave it out there. No, no. He passed to the wrong person. Not who I wanted. Get on that stick. Come on, bud. There you go, Goligoski. Sweet moves. Manta, take it out. Take it out. Take it out. Throw it up. All right. I just had to get out of the zone. He's pulling his goalie. Here comes Gretzky. Be big of the point. Be big. Here we go. Come on. Get out. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Throw it back. Nope. We're going to take it. We're going to walk it. Put it in. No way. He missed it. They're going to be offsides. Oh, my gosh. 17 seconds. This is big. This is big. Be big. Be big. Be big. No, 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 no. Oh, my goodness. What a finish. What a finish, guys. Oh, my gosh. That was a beautiful play. That was a nasty play. That was sick. That was sick, boys. Oh, my gosh. We blew it. We blew the lead. What a finish, he says. Holy crap. Gretzky. No joke. Like, what? Fifth point? Fifth point of the game? That is crazy. All right. What a finish. In 13 seconds left, he ties the game up. And this is probably going to be going to overtime unless we can do something nasty here. Unless he can, like, let us, like, walk into the zone. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Elo. No way, dude. What a save. Off of his blocker. Oh, my gosh. We tripped him. We tripped him with two seconds left. Oh my gosh, we are blowing this hard. We're gonna go into the overtime <laughs> short-handed. I mean, luckily we've like won every face off before this, so. All right, heading into overtime. So, I mean, here's the thing. Here's the, here's the silver lining here. Out of the remaining five games, we had to win three and a half. So this point is one of the points that we needed. So, I mean, at least we got that point accounted for, but I mean, it would be nice if, uh, you know, we could bring this one out with the extra point in OT. Here we go. All right, let's go. Big wins here. Glenn Denning, we need you. We need you here, bud. Going up again, Gretzky. Can you get the face off? Because we can just like kill most of this. All right, we're going to win. Big win here. Big win. No, that was the worst. Oh my gosh. No way. No way. All right, come on, guys. Offsides. Gosh, dude, we blew it. I honestly was so like nervous about that that we actually got it that we didn't finish. Oh my gosh. Didn't finish it. We could have like one hand to tuck for the win, but I, oh, I just was not ready for that. Another big win. Another big win. Let's go, Glenn Denning. Take it down the outside. Good Branson. Far side. Squeak through. Oh, big rebound there. All right, one minute left to go on the power play. I want to give him this outside lane, and then I'll, oh, no, he, he learned from it. He learned from it. All right, big save by Kulbakov. Nice, once again, big wins. Big wins from the guys. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, keep it in the corner. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. Kept up to him. Nice, nice. All right, four and four. Let's go, boys. We just gotta settle down, settle down here, settle down. Oh, nope, nope, loose puck, loose puck, loose puck. All right, we're gonna make this three on three. We're gonna send back the first line out because I mean, I mean, they got energy right now. All right, big win, Borolov. He's getting in there, he's getting in close. Behind the net, where's he going? Where's he going with it, where's he going? No way, no way, come on. Be big, be big. Uh-oh. Guys, get back. It's a two-on-one. Guys, I need you to get back. We need help right here. We need some help. Some puck help. Good pressure, though. Good pressure. He's going to keep it in. No way, dude. Where was my D? And why didn't he go over to the guy waiting on the back? That was awful. He was wide open back there. Oh, that was so unfortunate. That is hard to see. Play of the game. Mika Zibanejad, OT hero. I want to see what that Mika Zibanejad is. Like, nobody came to help. Look at three guys around this guy over here in the corner. Oh my goodness. 
Come on. And then Gretzky like tying it up with like 15 seconds left. God, that sucks. But I mean, hey, we at least got a point that we needed. So I mean, still, you know, out of the next four games, we have to win three to progress to the next one. 20 to 18, 12 minutes of time on attack to six. It was unfortunate. Like they gave him all three stars of the game right there. Four points for Gretzky, four points for Tobias Enstrom. Two goals for Mika Zibanejad, and that is rough. But we're gonna finish this game. We're gonna go check out his team and actually see what is going on. Jalmari, 2004, let's check him out. Check out his leaderboard, see what this guy's doing, where he's playing at, what division he's playing in and whatnot. So he's a D1 player, 170 and 125. So I mean, we're playing against D1 opponents right now. He's won 14 titles, so I mean, he's played a respectable amount of games, almost like 300 games or so. We're gonna challenge his team and check out what uh, his team is looking like right now. Um, so I mean, he's got the 89 Sebastian Ajo, just nothing but speed out of this first line, which is absolutely expected. That's, that's Benjad. he's got some speedy guys too. He's got Mika's, uh, Matt Zuccarello back there, Bo Horvat, Evander Kane. So he's got some basic people back here, just all super fast guys though on defense. He's got some nice players though. Jake Muzzin, uh, Ryan Suter, uh, Oliver ekman Larson, Jake Truba, and we saw his uh, goaltenders before. I mean, Darcy Kemper, he played really, really well. Gosh, I feel like we could have won that game. We should have won that game. All right, but guys, that is where we're going to end this episode of the Puck Drop. It was unfortunate that our win streak came to an end like that by blowing a lead in the last minute of the third period. It totally sucks, but we got a point, which is what we needed. We also got a lot of people we're going to put on the auction house. We're going to have a substantial coin bonus for the next episode and pick up a big player, maybe replace the Brandon Saad, Connor McDavid. We're not sure, but guys, if you guys could smash the like on this video it helps out the channel tremendously and subscribe if you haven't done so yet but guys have a great rest of your day this is pack daddy i'm out